Hello, kind people of the internet. Welcome to an Oathbreaker gameplay stream. Tonight, I've got some amazing people lined up to play some live gameplay. We're still getting set up right now, but I think I'll take us over to the table in half a second. Below me scrolling is my uh, YouTube subscribers. If you want to head on over to YouTube and check out my Oathbreaker YouTube channel and support it, that would be awesome, but no requirement whatsoever. I'm going to take us over to the table. I'm just going to move my mouse. Oh, helps to take us over to the right table. There we go. We're still waiting on our fourth. I'm, of course, Chad. I'm Signature Spellbomb. Um, and I'm hosting. Uh, why don't you guys introduce yourself to why we're waiting on our fourth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, he's the link here. I'm playing Steel and Zack with uh, Dan Bug. I mm -hmm. have not tested this deck much. I can roll. I can, uh, I can pull out a, a better deck than this if I can roll well. We'll see. Lately, the game's been going a little long, so we'll I, see. <laughs> I hate showing up to the table with the same deck twice in a row. I certainly understand. I try to change it out every week myself. The problem is, is, you know, as everybody probably knows, most Magic players can only afford to build so many decks in the first place. So, yeah. <laughs> there is that. Mm -hmm. Yep. I've recently been easing that a little bit because I have a uh, TCG player store now. So, I've just been selling my old stuff I don't use and then trying to turn it around into new decks, you know. Nice. So... It works okay. It works well enough that it convinced um, one of the largest local game stores in my area to give me a job managing their Magic the Gathering section. So that'll be fun. Yep. We'll see how long I want to do it for. <laughs> so we're still waiting on the fourth. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to drop my hand and see if it can go. And I'm going to check my phone to see if she texted me. Oop, that is, um, are you a spider, so, so what, the manga pulled up. That's not going to help me. I'll bet they probably just uh, lost track of time. I had to if I had to bet money. Mm -hmm. I'll be it taking my first mulligan. Will you? Okay. I think I'll do the same. We've got a little bit of time. Are you? Worst case, we can play a three-man game. That's not really a downside, in my opinion. That gives me one less person I have to deal with. Yeah. yeah. Also, we moved the game to a new day and time, so that could be part of the problem. Yeah. Okay, that's probably enough shuffling. I could literally shuffle forever. Let's see. I can both keep this and be depressed about it. So I think I'll do that. Yeah. Um, well, I don't want to wait too super long because we do have at least one viewer. I want to be respectful of their time. So I think let's start a game. And if we have to restart, we can do that. Yeah. I will keep this, even though it looks objectively terrible. Oh, 
And after three randomizations, it looks like Fred is starting us off. And I am going last. I'm just going to move my camera. Boop. Everyone feel the need? Yeah, I'm okay. I've kept worse in the real world, so. <laughs> down a grenade gun here and pass. Seems like a start. Yeah. Let's see. I'm running free colors. I gotta I gotta do shenanigans where I can. I'm gonna play a uh, fertile thicket and enter play tapped. I get to look at the top five cards of my library. I get to choose a basic land from among them, reveal it and put it on top of my library and the rest go on the bottom in any order. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that forest. And I will pass. A land that helps guarantee my land drops. Weird. What is that music in the background? Oh, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, I, I passed turn. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, second land, I'll play a Season of Growth, and I'll pass the turn. Do you review misses? Okay. All right, draw for two. Let's see what we got. Okay. I actually like seeing that. Let's. I'm going to play another swamp. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cast a fall card. So I'm going to switch to a basic land spell instead of using land to protect my library. I wonder if it'll be a mountain. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a mountain. I'm not sure. Mm. Pretty lucky guess it's the one color you don't have for your Planeswalker's color identity. <laughs> Pass. Pass. Okay. Uh, I'll pay three for a Wild Beast Master, and I'll pass. Oh, I get to scry when I play a creature. <laughs> okay. Uh, same turn. Mm-hmm. No, it does not. Uh, no, it just says vigilance. I was some. I think it's like skitter zone. Yeah. I was gonna skit at you, and I was you. prepared to like land there, and then I was like, dang, and I'll get my second land thing, and I will. Uh, yeah, I'll just take one more damage, and then I will pass my turn. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm 
I'm tapping. Draw for turn. Which Yoko is that? That's a Thief of Crowns. I'm doing this the hard way. This, yeah, it's the, it's the good one. <laughs> it doesn't make a treasure, but it makes a food token. Oh, sorry. Yes, you're not wrong. Um, it's an important distinction. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And you've got two treasure out right now? Or I have a treasure and a food. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, man. I bet I am all good. Um, okay. Uh, in that case, hmm. yeah, I think, I think now they're going to try to raid. Oh, wait. Uh, I've got Season of Growth, so whenever I have a creature enter the battlefield, I can scry one. Whenever I cast a spell that targets a creature, I can draw a card. And I have Wild Beast Master. It's a 1-1 one, one that whenever it attacks each other creature I control, gets plus X plus X to end of turn, where X is its power. All right, and I am so good about it. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to tap for... Four for a Zero Drunk. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to immediately down tilt for three. Because it's only one. Right? And I'm going to steal a Falcon. For one turn. Right now I can actually buy that. Mm -hmm. um, signature, you're the only person who hasn't taken damage yet. Um, and that's not any reason you shouldn't be attacking his planeswalker. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll swing. Oh, wait, Malcolm is specifically a opponent. Okay. Well, I think under your control, it circles the thing, right? Uh, yeah, it's, it's untapped in that case, but, um. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I will send Starfinder. Uh, Farfinder is one damage, not two. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, and that's it, too? Yep, and I'll make a tap right now. Let me go find the one. I believe that's all. Basically, I'll just use this as a treasure because I don't like my pile of tokens to keep. Basically, Malcolm can't deal damage to Zero Drunk now. Okay. Yeah, pass three. And she's on just one loyalty, then? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. I do have a blocker in the form of Farfinder. You would think that, but you might not. <laughs> I'll play uh, Roaring Earth. It says whenever land enters the battlefield um, under my control, I put a 1-1 counter on target creature or vehicle. I'll play my land for turn. Let's see. I could, but I don't know that I want to do it this way. Not ideal. Um, I'll swing for uh, two at Gaedron. Gaedron, I guess. Uh, yeah, I will block with Farfinder. I'll pay one for sudden spinnerets, giving my creature plus one plus three until end of turn, putting a reach counter on it and untapping it. Okay. So, you know, all the things. I don't really have anything to use as a reach counter. I guess this will work. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's one of those. Mm hmm Yeah, I, I've thought about buying counters for that, but, you know, monies. Um, uh, Miss Ruby, I tried changing the output of the sound on my uh, stream. Can you hear the other guys any better now? And you, you can go ahead, Fred. I'm done. Okay. Oh, I do get to draw a card for targeting my creature. That's right. His life. Mm -hmm. So, and in my upkeep, I gain a life from um, Adventure Strip. It's actually a card drop. Mm hmm. Excellent, and I will draw a card off of it. Um, Wait, do you also get to draw another thing? 
erstatning som handler til at sige før på dansk. Så lyder erstatning only in this country. Yeah, just gay at drug. I can still okay. take damage from mouth at drug. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seems like a good strong choice. I'm not. I'm using headphones as my recording device. I'm gonna send this two back at you, Joy, and I'll get like a three minute trigger now. I probably deserve it. And I will make an Any better? additional food token. And I believe... Oh, wait. No, no, no. I want to do something. Um, I don't know if this is good or not. It uh, could be. That's a treasure token. That's a creature. I think I'll save it. I'm going to play this Mox Amber. And I'll mm -hmm. cast Trance. That's it. Well, I mean, you do have Metalcraft. Right. Untapped yeah. and draw. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. I will play Island for turn. I will tap five for Eye Blight Colors. What? Long and short of it is I want them to die. Let me look. Eye Blight Colors? Yes. Right. Um, when they die, create three one one green elf warrior creature tokens, and then I mill three. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. And then I will plus one Gaia drone Dihada, So each of you are gonna lose two life. I'm going to gain two. Okay. Yeah, Fifteen. And I'm also going to put a corruption counter on signatures wild beast master. So. Mm -hmm. Basically, I can't. Uh, that creature can't deal damage to Gaia Drone anymore. Mm -hmm. And that will be it. Pass the turn. Okay. I will untap upkeep draw. I'm going to play a Rogue's Passage as my land for turn. That's going to trigger my Roaring Earth, so I'll put a 1-1 one, one counter on my Wild Beastmaster. I'm going to pay three mana and cast my Planeswalker, Jing Yingwei Wildcrafter. I'm going to down tick him one, um, one one counter to put it on my Wild Beast Master. Um, let's see. I'm going to tap my Wild Beast Master for one mana thanks to Jing's ability casting my signature spell. For one, it's going to put a one one counter on my creature and untap it. Um, since I played a spell that targets a creature I control, I will draw a card. I'm going to go ahead and pay a mana and put an instill energy on my creature. Since I targeted my creature, I get to draw a card. I'm going to uh, pay one mana for a spider umbra, giving my creature plus one, plus one, and reach and totem armor. Since I targeted my creature, I'll draw a card. And I will swing for six mana at... Um, Oko. Six damage, sorry. Purple. Uh, down to one it goes. Uh, after combat, I'm going to trigger instill energy to untap my creature. And I'll pass the turn. Oh my. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of your turn, mm -hmm. what's this? Let me see. Hold on. Da, 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 da. At the end of your turn, I'm going to pay four mana to mm -hmm. activate this to crack it to search for an artifact. Okay. So I'm going to sacrifice this, I'm going to search my library for an artifact, and it goes to hand. Mm, I think I know what you want to do next. Mm -hmm. The classic. Academy Manufacturer. Mm -mm. 
And I will untap. Nothing bigger in my boutique this time. And I will pick draw. Um, is that good? British. British. Uh, yeah. I'm going to And I'm going to play this to Cherry Manufacturer. So that's what you shoot it for. Mm -hmm. And then I'll uptick Oko. Mm -hmm. One for this world. Make a food, a token, and a uh, clue, right? Yes. A little bit of everything now. Now we're doing the things. Mm -hmm. um, need to both tick up three and three. And then. Seems good. Yeah. Then I will move to combat. Mm -hmm. Wait, that thing doesn't have any abilities that can still fly over. That's going to gain me two life back anyway. Um, hmm. Yeah, I will swing two in the air at you. Is well, that that thing has reach, right? Uh, it has double reach. It has it twice. Yeah, it's, that's it how much reach it has. <laughs> definitely coming at you, you going I would like to keep that as a name. Seems like a thing. And now you make. Everything once again. Yes, it's happening. Yeah, I uh, if I remember right, someone was trying to make a modern deck based around Time Civ, and that card accounted the manufacturer. I, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. That's well, that's the way to go. Um, I need a cycle in my mind. Okay. Um, I will. I did everything. I made my trigger. I did that. I'm gonna play my land for turn. It's a fetch land. I'm gonna crack it. I'm gonna go get one. I'm gonna go get a distant island. Mm hmm. Okay. And then I will try to play a blocker. Maybe. Oh, it doesn't even matter if I have a blocker. Darn. Yeah, well, I'll make you use it at least. Mm hmm. Um, I will. One, two, three, four. I will play. I have to get to one. Yeah. I'll play. Urza, Lord High Artificer. Mm -hmm. it eats so you just it ramped it. by 10, right? <laughs> if it, yeah, I don't have any use for the mana, but yeah. I will make this, uh, I just wanted a token, or I wanted a blocker, but it doesn't mm -hmm. really matter now that I think of it. You um, actually do have use for the mana. You have food and clue tokens. That's true. That's true. Uh -huh. um, I have a big blocker. This is the size of all the artifacts I have. Um, so mm -hmm. it's like a 10 or something. And I will pass the turn there because I did everything else with it. Actually, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Um, da, 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 da. I could delay the inevitable. Even though I can't they do it. only tap for blue, sadly. They are mox uh, sapphires. Sapphires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I have to do this. Otherwise, I just lose my guy. Um, mm -hmm. I about that? Okay. I'm going to cast this. I'm going to tap, uh, tap these. That's four. Mm -hmm. And these don't matter if they tap. I'll tap six. That's six. I can't put them up, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Baraldic Retieve. I can return three artifacts and creatures to their owner's hand. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to choose both of your creatures, and just that's it. Is it up to or have to? Up to three artifacts and our creatures to their owner's hands, and then okay. I may cast something like convert mana cost four or less from my hand without paying for anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to cast this inspiring sanctuary. Okay, seems and good. That is that's that's what I got. Mm -hmm. Go for it. All right, let's see what we can do here. Tap. Uh, oh, that's fun. Um, a little bit late. Oh, so, yeah, Unknown Shores is my land for turn, and I have seven mana, it looks like. Mm -hmm. This is a, it's like a 11 11. Mm -hmm. 
I'm exactly one mana short of something I want to do. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to do something you have to do instead, I guess. Yeah. Finger um, snap. Damn. Yeah, really. Um. Still no word by, uh, from our other casting. person, so let's see if we get through the Flame. game. <laughs> I will uh, cast Flame the Firstborn targeting Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Flame the Firstborn targeting Malcolm. Uh, yes. I don't really like that. Uh, how much is that? That's a one drop, right? Yeah, that's a one mana spell. Mm. It's one red. I mean, you know, that's unfortunate, but so be it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Looks like you have used a Malcolm there. All right. Um, all right, yeah, um, I think I'm just gonna move straight to combat, hit you with them, make a, another treasure. Hit me with them? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, do you have a fly blocker, or? I don't have any fly blockers, no. Okay. And yeah. oddly, you made a giant creature, so you made yourself the biggest threat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, the idea is I was looking for one more treasure. Mm -hmm. uh, so... take one. I mean, you like Brokey. Yeah. Now I should have enough mana to do what I want to do, so... This is probably a terrible use for this spell, but I will cast Dread Return, targeting... Uh, far finder. I would much rather mm -hmm. target something else, but I need two creatures in play, and this is the quickest way to do it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, but you only have one creature, right? That's just one creature. Or er, until end of turn, I have. Um, oh. Nine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so after you cast that, how much mana do you have after that? I have three, which is enough to cast Victimize. What, 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 He's going to sacrifice your Malcolm to Victimize to uh, yeah. give stuff back, uh, yeah. But what, do you, but the, what oh, else wait, is your graveyard? Wait, what are oh my gosh, graveyard? I'm, being, I'm being stupid. You're right, you're being right. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I mean, it does get rid of his Malcolm permanently, no, but there's but, probably a better target. No, 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 Victimize is a reanimation spell. Is the yes. Thing. It's primarily a, and I already have a creature out, which is the Malcolm. Yeah. Which means Dread Return is just a bad play here. Yes, okay. yep. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's uh, probably you news. Go ahead and take it back to your thing. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, you're not going to get the max value. Yeah, because I can't thing. discard mm -hmm. anything. And victimize, if it says two, I think I can fail to find skill with that. Or If it says up to, then you're fine. It okay. does not. Oh, uh, yeah, then okay. you need two targets. And I think you have to have two legal targets, yep. All right. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. In that case, I will just set up for next turn then. Um, five mana for I Blight Colors again. And I will uptick Gaia Drone one more time. Uh, I will put the Corruption Counter on your Karn Struck. Yep. And you also, it. you both lose two life, I gain two. Mm hmm. I lose two. And that will be yeah, it. Pass yeah. the turn. Promises, promises. You tell me that'll be it, but you're just lying to me. I know who you are. I'll pay two for a Gyre Sage. That'll allow me to scry the top card in my library. I'll go ahead and um, so I'm gonna put that on bottom. We're gonna we're gonna do some digging on this turn. I'm going to minus one to put a one one counter on the Gyre Sage. It has evolved, but I'm not going to end up using it. It can tap for a number of green mana equal to the number of counters on it. It doesn't have haste, so that's not as important as it will be in a second. But I am going to play my land for turn, which is going to let me up the uh, Gyre uh, Sage again because of uh, Roaring Earth. I am then going to, I guess, play Scurrying Oak. Uh, whenever one or more creatures uh, are put, oh, I'm sorry, it's got evolve, and when it would die, I create a number of squirrel tokens equal to the number of 1-1 counters that were on it when it died. I'll scry again. I'll put that on bottom, actually. 
Oh, da -da 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 -da. You're making me rebuild. And I think you got me, though. I think you bounced that stuff at just the right time. So good job, Fred. I'm going to pass it to you, my friend. Um, I can't do anything here, can I? No. Yep. Keep that. Upkeep and draw. And can I get an axe sharpen thing? Uh, what do we got? Axe sharpen. One, two, three, four. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uptick here. Mm -hmm. And it'll make three things. I'm just going to rep represent them all as the same because it doesn't matter. I'm just using them for mana for now. Uh, mm -hmm. My three things. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to tap those three for three mana. And I will then tap three real mana also. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to cast my signature spell mm -hmm. for the first time. To make everything, all my non-creature artifacts into 4-4. Four, four. Actually, wait. What do you have up over there? You have a uh, 1 mana? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, I have 2, but I don't know that I have any interaction right now. Okay. Um, so let's see. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, you have 1 blocker. That one's going to die and make more do. I don't think that's a 4-2 uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, so all of these, I have one, two, three, four, wait, ten, thirteen things that are four fours. Mm-hmm. If um, you, yeah, if you send five at me, that will kill me. Wait, five, no, that would be six, right? Because you have five, a three, six, three, also. Yeah, six. Right. So, so send six. six at you, yep. and what do I need, I need to send... Or plus the two that you have. I need to send six at you also. At least. Uh, I'm, I'm wait, send... two blockers. For... Yeah, you have two blockers. So these are uh, those account for those two blockers. And then this is still 16 coming your way. Okay. Mm -hmm. and just in case, I'll put another one. So you have seven four fours coming at you, signature spell bomb. Okay. All right. Seems good. And then, yeah. I don't know. Uh, that one green, I was wondering if that's like a fog you held it up or something. Paranoid. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have swapped out the signature spell last minute. <laughs> what was it before? Uh, burnt offering. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Mm. Well, that was a good game. That's pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna Fair double. Enough. Yeah, I'm gonna double check with our What's fourth that? player again real quick. Yeah. You know. All oh, right. The one other piece of tech I was hoping to get was uh, a Colrath Knight down. Mm -hmm. Because creatures with uh, counters on them can't attack or block. Interesting. So, yeah, Gaia Drone just puts counters down. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just like makes it, yeah, everything comes. I, I had removal for it, but that's fine. Yeah. I'm not always going to have it, and you might get it next game. We'll have to wait and see what kind of crazy nonsense we get up to. Because we are I troublemakers. I think I might switch, actually. Might yeah, you? This was, uh, I mean, I, admittedly, I kept a bad hand, but... I thought you did pretty good. I, yeah, I did pretty good. I've got a heavy creature deck, and I depended on the back of one creature for a long time, but that got me pretty far, you know? Yeah, that was surprising, yeah. I was expecting you to spread out a little bit. Well, sometimes you do what the deck allows you to do, not what you want to do, having played plenty of Arena now. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, I kind of have a... I take a I take it a lot easier than I used to the losses when you yeah yeah I, I take don't the like RNG it makes me want expensive cards <laughs> um I still haven't spent oh I spent the four ninety nine for the starter bundle and that is all I've spent so far and I almost have every well, card like, in the current standard uh, as a singleton because I'm just gonna play brawl anyway you know yeah but like I mean as a as a it makes me want expensive cards in because i i mainly run mono black on arena just to make to make it simple and there are so many cards like uh phyrexian obliterator i want that so bad but it's like 20 bucks same with uh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and since I only play standard brawl, I don't really look at the older cards, and that kind of helps me in that aspect too. Yeah. You know. So apparently, um, I think she had a 
hard day at work. She fell asleep on the couch and her dog just woke her up. Oh, so, fair enough. I, <laughs> I don't know that she's going to join, but, you know, I spent a bit, but I can't brawl or draft very well, so I'm at least enjoying. I could see that. Um, I haven't actually spent any money on the Mastery Pass, but I could see where there's some benefit in picking that up each season. Um, I can keep this begrudgingly, but it's not going to be that much of a difference from, from game one for me. Free uh, shuffle real quick. Like, it's it's a brand new hand, but it's not a great hand. I think your camera just died on us, Mr. Fred. He may have disconnected altogether. Uh-oh. Well, up covering the Zoinks name from time to time is just a little banner. Anybody who wants to help support the channel, there are some ideas there. And up further in the chat, there's actually a link to my YouTube. Hopefully, you just link. Oh, well, we have you, Andrew. Hopefully, Fred joins us again here in a second. Yeah. Now you're playing your Kyoira deck? Yeah. Okay. That's what I switch to when I, when I lose. Oh, because you can't lose two games in a row, so you got to get exactly. your vengeance? Oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know. It's... There's kind of an assumption there he's making that we're going to let him win a game, but it is it is a pretty good deck. I think you'll enjoy it, Fred. Oh, You're the one that keeps... I one other time, yeah. You might have. I mean, um, you've, peti you've been petitioning for, like, a C o or competitive Oathbreaker, haven't you? Or am I thinking of somebody yeah. else? Yeah. Yeah, that was me. That was me. Um, yeah, I've, I've gotten a few people so far, but... I'm not as interested in that. I really like the, um, you know... Uh, the more casual table myself and uh i would have to proxy because i just cannot afford to buy the cards needed for a competitive level you know yeah like yeah i mean that's a, that, for me personally i proxies are i feel like they're as a requirement i don't i don't require anybody to spend money to have fun so mm -hmm. i'm, I'm yeah. all for proxy that's definitely what makes the game hard i think for many many people is that you can feel gatekeeped by the price tag or just having not started playing it at the right time. Exactly. I myself started back in like 93 when the game came out when I was in middle school and I was an idiot. I sold out of the game twice. You know, early on we didn't play with sleeves. We didn't take care of any of this stuff. So, I mean, man, <laughs> yeah. if I knew then yeah. what I know now, you know, I'd probably have a lot more money yeah. <laughs> or at least some exactly. better cards. You know, save those started, under that, please. Yeah, I started late, late nineties, but mm -hmm. and I had some older cards, but uh, I ran the the unfortunate of having a large amount of my collection stolen, so that was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then that then I just sat out for a long time. I was kind of taken yeah. out of the playing mode, but um, yeah, I got back in. I, so. I loved kitchen table grown up sitting around a table with a bunch of friends playing and we would invent our own little formats and stuff and that was great and i did try to play at the competitive level but i kind of realized i don't like the person i am when i play at that level if that makes any sense so it's just <laughs> i don't i don't enjoy it we did a draft last week at my local game shop Excuse which was way against the norm and you know uh i did okay I, I wasn't at the bottom, but I was only one up from it. But I did a lot better playing competitive this time, I think, because I've had the years and the hindsight now, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But I think that's one of the reasons. I like this, what we're doing now, just talking and hanging out and having a good time. I don't really get that from arena as much or from competitive play because it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you're my opponent, we're not going to be friends until after maybe the game's over, you know. So, yeah. Well, I think it's I think it's a different vibe when it's multiplayer competitive because it's oh, still it like is. you're having fun, you're you're joking, you're making you're making jokes. It's still it's not like heads down, I'm I'm coming for you. Like a one one mm -hmm. v one is a totally different beast. I think yeah. Multiplayer does change a lot of things because you have politics, you have things that make it feel more like it has board game aspects, which is one of my big passions is board games. Well, and of course anime, but I have a lot of issues. Um, you know, let me re-roll <laughs> up our order if everybody's got a hand yeah. they can keep, and we'll see who's going to be going first this time. Once. Twice. Oh. Didn't even change that time. Three times. 
And we're right back to where we were before I randomized it. Well, I'm not sure that was worth doing. Do you want to try one more time? I don't want to, like, do Yeah, yeah, let's do one more time. Okay. (laughs) I guess I'll start us off. Let me move my camera. (laughs) I I try to randomize D6 times just to make it more fun. Yeah, it's... Takes a little bit more time on the uh, on the stream than I want to admit to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and draw for turn. Um, I will lay my first land and I will pass. Not much uh, of a start. Uh, not That'll happen. Uh, we'll just play this blue. I mean, island tap or just play an island pass. Mm-hmm. <gasps> awesome. You know, that is that is the most powerful guard, card in the game of Magic. I have no idea why islands haven't been banned yet. They're so broken. <laughs> Worst card. Oh, shoot. So go, go, go. I'm playing against two blue decks. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> I should have switched up to you, know, honestly, in hindsight. That's on you, dude. <laughs> Your mom's on... Nah, I'm not going to make that joke. That's gross. <laughs> I'm too old for that joke. That joke uh, is a fragile I antique. I was away. about to break it. Um, I'm going to play a Dust Crawler. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, I can put a 1 1 counter on target creature. This is all I got. So it also reads each creature I control with a 1 1 counter on it has trample. I'll pass the turn. That's pretty good in that mm-hmm. deck. Hey, yeah. we got there. We found that other color. Um, I will. Cause problems? A lot of nothing, looks like. Yeah, I'm going to pass. Oh, oh my. That I was not yeah. expecting. One of those. those. Alright, draw. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get off to the races. Rampant growth. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. It starts. Yep, it starts. And I will search for a forest and pass. Okay. I will untap, upkeep, and draw. Let's see. Well, I'm hoping actually now that everybody's having a slow man to start to maybe get away with the game a little bit. But how far can I go? Not very far. I'll play a Gyre Sage. I'll swing at you, Zoink. For, actually, I owe Fred for last game, too. So, Fred, take one. <laughs> you got it. Yep. And I will uh, pass the turn, actually. Seems like a good place to do so. And your turn, I'm going to... Affinity. I'm gonna artifact land cycle this uh, Sojourner's mm-hmm. Command for my multicolored artifact land. Okay. Um, Razor's Head Bridge ready to go. Mm-hmm. And then I'll untap and draw. Probably play this land. That's what I'm doing. Play this mm-hmm. tap land, and I will also play this uh, welding jar, which I can sack to regenerate an artifact, and I'll pass the mm-hmm. turn. Right. Oh no, that's on tap. He got all the way back to his turn unmolested. We can't have that happen again. <laughs> Let's just see what happens next. I will throw down. Um. Actually, I'm going to throw down an island. Tap out for Fiora, and it looks like I left my dice downstairs, so I'll just use these computer screws or something. <laughs> and <laughs> untap a yeah. creature, no creature, and land. One of the interesting, most interesting counters I've seen in a while. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I, why not? You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and with that land untapped, I'll play Quest for Ula's Temple. Mm-hmm. And pass. And pass. That was your first mistake. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll play a land for turn, and let's see. I'll tap three for my commander. I'll down ticket to two. I'm gonna put the one one counter on the Gyre Sage. It taps for an amount of mana equal to the number of counters on it. I'm going to tap it to cast my signature spell for the first time. Um, my signature spell puts a 1-1 one, one counter on it and untaps it. I'm going to tap 3 mana, play my signature spell a second time, targeting it. 
is going to untap it and put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. I'm going to uh, swing at Kyoira for, um, oh, how is this a 1? That should be a 3 at least. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to swing Kyoira for 5, um, I guess unblocked. Sorry, at where? At your uh, planeswalker. Oh, that kills her. That was the plan. <laughs> okay. And I will, uh, I will pass on to the Fred. Good cards off the top. Not quite. Um, I'll play a land. One, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. For this cost. Ah, everything's so expensive. Uh, let's see. If I play that, I think it dies the same way, which is quite unfortunate. Um, that's my hope. So this takes four. <laughs> I get to up to seven. That's not great, but I mean, it's something to do. What if I do that instead? No, that costs this much. Yeah. I'll pass so, this uh, mirror enforcer. Yep. So that's I just got a uh, word from player four. She isn't going to make it tonight. She would have to get ready and clean her play space so it's just not happening <laughs> fair enough which is fair she's only missed one game that we haven't canceled since basically the start of these streams so it's totally fair <laughs> impressive yeah and that game is tonight so <laughs> so no regrets i'm gonna pass there with some face protection hopefully there mm -hmm. you go with a four four yeah, I guess that's the best a thing. Mm -hmm. All right, untap upkeep quest for Ula's Temple will trigger. It mm -hmm. is a creature, so quickly. I will reveal it, put a quest counter up on this for Ula's Temple. Oh, I'll make the creature. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah. And. I will play. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to play that creature out. A land. Tap four. For a Rick Smithies, the Slumbering Isle enters tapped and as a land. Mm -hmm. And has. Yeah. A number of slumber counters. counters on it. So I guess you'll have yeah. to use your screws again. Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't feel like going downstairs and getting my dice. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, is that to me then, Yazoink? Uh, yeah. That's okay. Good. Let's do the untap, the upkeep, and the draw. Hmm. On the draw, I'll play an Incubation Druid, down tick my Planeswalker to put a 1-1 one -one counter on my newly minted Incubation Druid. Um, I'll tap 4 and five and i will put hunter's prowess on my dark shell crawler so it is now a four seven with trample whenever it deals combat damage to a player i draw that many cards i'm gonna i'm gonna swing four at his oh my i will take that i'll draw four cards I'm just hoping to get a land that doesn't enter the battlefield tap. Uh, do I? Do you not take it? Yeah, no, never, never mind. It's it, it goes through. Okay, so I'll draw my four cards. Um, I'll play a blighted woodland as my land for turn. Um, I'm going to. Hmm. My plans changed. But I've got eight, seven cards in my hand. You know, I could just pass the turn where I am. That's probably the smart plan, rather than overextending myself any further. Let me just double check how one card is worded. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pay two and I'm going to put Curse of Bounty on uh, Andrew. Whenever I would uh, attack Yazoink, I get to untap all the uh, creatures I control. I think it's creatures might be permanents. No, all the permanents I control. Any other opponent that would attack um, Andrew does the same. 
Oh my god. Do you have a uh do you, do you have any mana floating open? Not at the moment, no. Okay, I'm gonna force spike that. Okay. Um sadly my one mana source is a creature that has summoning sickness, so yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> I don't want like that, that happening. Yeah, that was gonna be really bad. <laughs> well, I mean if you attacked him, you would get to untap all your permanence too. Yeah, I don't, I don't benefit quite as much as you do, though. No. <laughs> Which is, you know, kind of to, to the plan, as it were. Of course. Okay. I guess I'll pass the turn, then. There's not a whole lot more I can do. All right, deck. Stop, stop giving me land. Yeah. You say that, but... <sighs> All right, what can you do here? I can do... Let's see, I go... This way, do this. Got this one, I can land it. I have one more mana left open. I can get that one, one mana left open. Mm -hmm. I think well, I need to do that. I need, now, to five. I need to dig. I need to dig. Mm -hmm. but then you're going to have three creatures. One of them's going to BP. Hopefully, I can blow up something. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cast my commander. Mm -hmm. And then I will uptick. Start at four, I'll go to five. I choose and. Uh, I'm actually gonna tap this after I do that. I'll choose. So I have a blue. I have one blue floating. I'm gonna choose mm -hmm. an artifact, a land, and a is it tap your creature and attack. I don't think that's beneficial. So I will not do that. I'll. I will choose your creature to tap it though, because I just have to choose the, the target. Mm -hmm. And so, and then I will. Uh, I'll un well. I'll tap yours and I'll untap mine. Mm -hmm. So I have a blue floating and I have these now, and I mm -hmm. have one, two. Three, wait, one, two, three, four artifacts. So I'm gonna cast this for the first time with the floating mana I have. Um, for mm -hmm. the first time, and I'll draw two cheap things. Ugh, Zach, what did I ever do to you? Um, you built it. That was your first <laughs> mistake. Is you should never build the deck. Uh, That'll teach you. For real. Oh, so real. Like one, two, three. Four. Will for real. Almost nothing. For that. Uh, so I did that, and then I will, if I did it again, it would cost way too much. Eh. Mm -hmm. I just have to pass, I think. I can't do anything. That's unfortunate. Yeah. All right. Got you. I think I'm ready to untap them. Mm -hmm. um, I can't stop you. <laughs> upkeep trigger for Ula's Temple. That is not a creature. That's too bad. Yeah. Uh, oh, also upkeep trigger. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no, it's That's not. It's when, spells, I cast, right? yeah, yeah. it's when I cast a spell. Okay. Near Field of Ruin as my land of return. Seems good. I've got a Blighted Woodland. Fred's got more land toys. I have a Buried Ruin. It's kind of the only thing that's not indestructible that's non-basic. Yep. Yeah. I don't think any of it's worth the field of ruining. Yeah, no, nobody's got like a cabal coffers out or nothing. <laughs> no. None of that. No. No field of, uh, field of dead or anything. Yeah. No None of us are that in interesting yet. Colorless land source. I will cultivate them and rip a counter mm -hmm. off of Rick's Mm-hmm. So one into play and one into your hand? Yep. Uh, I'll just throw an island into play, island into hand. Okay. Seems good. Right. Counting up my mana, I unfortunately am one short of being able to cast Kiora, so... Even with five open? Uh, yeah, she's a four mana planeswalker and you hit her once, so... Ah, uh, so she's six. Gotcha. Yeah, she's up to six now. Hmm. All right, and yeah, I guess pass the turn. Pass the turn? Yeah. I've never heard sweeter That's words in my life. Ominous, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> you have no idea. Uh, How Simic good values, you made me feel. Simic value stuff, don't worry. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't draw what I needed, but I have a way to maybe fix that. So I'm going to pay one in a green. And I'm going to play that Season of Growth from last game. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. 
and the question is is do I do something now or do I hold it I think I'd probably have to hold it maybe hmm hmm I'm going to minus my planeswalker, sending him back to the command zone. Putting a 1 1 counter on the Gyre Reach Sage. So it is now a 5 6 that taps for mana equal to its cost. Um, I'm, I'm going to tap it for 5. Well, it taps for an amount of mana equal to its counter. So that is an important distinction because 4 is 1 too little. I'll tap the guy reach sage in this land cast my signature spell for the fourth time so that that was five so, mana that time uh, you have to cast your uh, guy first right you have to have your thing in play what thing your planeswalker right didn't you just kill it oh I do yes you are right well then I don't want to do that I can afford to actually play the guy again I just don't know that I want to at the moment what else is worth doing then you know what? I will pay three for a champion of lamb hold. Oh no. Creatures with power less than champion of land holds powers can't block creatures I control whenever a creature enters the battlefield. I put a one one counter on it. Um because it entered the battlefield, I get the scry one. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that card on top. Um I'm gonna attack Fred for five. Actually, I'll attack your Planeswalker for five, Trample, and I'm going to attack um, Yazoink for, what is this again? Four, Trample. Okay. So, I can live with four. You can live with four. I'll draw my four cards then. And none of them were the land I needed. <laughs> Darn. And you block with your uh, four, four? Yeah, so it'll take one. I'll take one you think. However, uh, I have an evil plan. I'm going to tap... Um, oh, no, I can't do that. I draw these cards after damage is dealt, so all combat happens at the same time. So, yeah, it takes one. I can't. Okay. okay. I can't do what I was doing. It would be uh, it would be cheating. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll play a t treetop village tapped for the turn since I didn't draw a better land, and I will pass the turn... Somehow magically back down to... S oh, nope. I do have eight cards in my hand. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, guess I'll discard a myriad landscape. Okay. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, uh, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, uh, that's not great. Not possible, but not great. Um, mm -hmm. let's see. What do we have here? Two artifact elements. Mm -hmm. I will play another artifact land. What is that? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. So it's four. Mm -hmm. um, Seems good. That. You and your That's affinity. Four. Yeah. I'm trying to do mm. cool things, but my deck my, is not cooperating. My affinity deck is a squirrel storm deck. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. With a uh, chatter storm? Yep. It's mono green artifact affinity chatter storm. Hmm. Because if, if, if I, I got into modern, which I probably won't, but if I did, I would try to build around chatter storm unless it got banned. Well, no, this is an oathbreaker deck because because oh. yeah. <laughs> I have is, problems. Is that deck over there? Is that your creature over there? Signature? Is that uh, six or no? The um the one for counter on it. Uh, it is a. It's not sick. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to activate my commander, and I'm going to go ahead and tap that one down. Then I'm going I'm to gonna... tap it to produce uh, three green mana. Okay. And I'm going to untap these two. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then am I, I'm not attacking. I'm going to move my pack step then. So the um, at the end of your main well, phase, wait, 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 I'm going to use wait, one wait, of those. I can't do mm -hmm. that. I can't do that, actually, because I, I floated mana. That was my whole point. So wait, wait a second. So you have your mm -hmm. mana still. Uh, yep. So I have two mana floating. What was I doing? Mm -hmm. I had a plan. I had a plan. Um, two, three, four. So that's two, three, four, five. Um, and the two I have, wait, two that I have floating. Three, four, five, mm -hmm. six. 
Seven, eight, and... So you are capping everything. Nine, unfortunately. Ten, One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't get 11 there. I get five, oh, six, counting, seven. Uh, that's seven mana, and then plus the artifacts. The artifacts are also counting, because they are, because um, I'm capping the spell affinity. So the oh, two mana okay. I floated, the two mana I floated initially, and then I uncapped those. Okay. And then, so that's two, three, four, five, or, and then I, I cap these for a minute. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have eleven in here. Seven, you seven. have three artifacts. One of your lands is also an artifact. Oh, that's yeah, that's, that's eleven. There we go. And yep. I'll cast the big one, the Microsense Golem, a four five mm -hmm. with affinity for artifact. And now my artifact spells have affinity for artifact. So okay. It transfers. I'm going to yeah. use one of my green mana in response to play Sudden Spinnerets. It's going to give one of my creatures plus one, plus three till end of turn. I put a Breach counter on it, and I untap it. I'm going to untap my... I think this is my biggest boy. What is this? This is a four, seven. This one is a five, six. So it is a six, six... Nine? A six nine now. And um, it has reach. Um, Bec mm -hmm. And then five. because I cast a spell that targeted a creature I control, um season of growth lets me draw a card. Okay. Well, this is unfortunate. Uh that slows me down, but hopefully it will still be down there. Okay, that's just me. I really like to draw cards, but this mm -hmm. costs Six right now. Minus one, two, three, four, five. No, it costs seven. But yeah, I'm, I'm one short. Okay. I will cast this uh, Lodestone Golem. A five, three. It says non artifact spells cost one more to cast for everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, that's what I got. That's, that's mm -hmm. it for me. Okay. Go for it. All right, untap, upkeep. Let's look at the top card. That is a creature, so... Front row. Getting closer mm -hmm. to Doom. Yep. Yeah, I think I'll just try to ramp out Kiora here. So that'll be... And did you remember your upkeep trigger to remove a counter from a Rixmas Thieves? Uh, it's not uh, upkeep, it's uh, on cast. Oh, that's a bummer. That's oh. a little bit rougher than I remember. Yeah, uh, I will cast Kiora. What? Let me put this in for size. Uh, M, 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 M. Um, how much mana do you have after that? How much after this? I've got oh. three mana. Okay. I'm just curious. Um, so you can cast your spell if you want to. Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead. That's it? Okay, uh, that case, I will immediately follow that up by casting Contentious Plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you draw a card and you proliferate? Yep, draw a card. Mm -hmm. I will proliferate a counter onto Kiora and a counter onto Quest for Ula's Temple. Don't think I've played a land this turn. Not certain. Play island, and then I went uh -oh. down to Kiora <laughs> to mm -hmm. look for the top four cards. I'm looking mm -hmm. for a creature and or a land. Mm-hmm. Draw the Okay. Nice. Yeah. This is what I got. Uh sending a welding wake into my graveyard, I guess. Mm. That's a bummer. Uh, uh -huh. and I don't get a big creature, but that's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, I forgot that one. Um 
In any case, uh, yeah, I guess I just cast the Elysian Carryted. Okay. And That'll trigger Xmasy. Cool. Yep. And uh, I will go to end step. So here's the mm -hmm. fun part. At the beginning of my end step, since there are three or more counters on Quest for Uma's Temple, I can put a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent card straight down. So I will put down Lorthos the Tidemaker. I can't remember. Do you have to actually sacrifice the um, the uh, temple, or does it stay out? No, it stays. Okay. Oh, wow. It stays. That's mm -hmm. nutty. Quest for Ula's Temple is a very core piece if you want to play any D-Monster deck. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Alright. Mm -hmm. And pass. Uh, what is the biggest defense of your creatures, Fred? I have a 4-5. Four, 4-5 five. Four, five and a... So 5, five is three. the highest? 5-5. Uh, five okay. five. Same here. Yeah. And, five, and 8 is the highest for you, Andrew? Okay. Yes. That's uh, important yeah. to know. Oh, I see where we're going. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play a land for turn. Hmm. I'll pay three for champion of uh I'm sorry for a uh, Hedron Blade Elite. Um, when another human enters the battlefield under my control, I can put a 1 1 counter on it because it is a creature entering the battlefield under my control. Champion of Landholt is going to get a 1 1 counter. I'm going to pay. Um, hmm, what's the best way to do this? I guess 2 green mana. And I'm going to put Instill Energy and Nature's Chosen both on my Gyre Sage. That's not good. Grand time. I'm going to tap it for uh, eight uh, mana. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, uh, I missed this last turn. I don't know if it affects anything. But uh, not on effect spells. It must cost one more. I think it's uh, it I totally really. that. You're right. Oh, uh... Like, I think you just couldn't play the last creature, really. That's it. Well, in that case, one yeah, I couldn't open. play the Elysian carry to do Yeah. That. Yeah. That's, that's all it was. I totally missed that. Okay. Hmm. That Does that arm? change my play a little bit? A little bit, but not, not a lot. Had enough, um... Hmm. Well, I will um, tap the Gyre Sage, generating four green mana. Use instill energy to untap the Gyre Sage, generating four green mana. I will untap the Gyre Sage using Nature's Chosen. I'll pay two more mana in Spinning Wheel Kick for four. I'm going to do five damage to each of your Planeswalkers. Yep. And both of Fred's creatures. Power is like target you control during Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Since I played um, a spell that targeted a creature I control, I get to draw a card. I'm going to sacrifice this to uh, regenerate the Microsoft Golem. Okay. Actually, wait. Did you have any mana floating after that? No, but I could easily generate. You have a stun. Yeah, you yeah have I could stun. generate okay, another ahead. seven, so. Okay. Um, or another, yeah, seven. So I'll draw a card. Let's see. I'm going to pay... Hmm, maybe not. Now, I did hit your Planeswalker, Fred, as one of my four targets oh. for five damage. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, you got it. Yep. Um, I did draw my card for targeting a creature I, I control. <laughs> I guess I will swing five... With trample, at uh, at Fred, mm -hmm. and I will swing. Um, well, you still have an eight-eight, don't you, Andrew? 
So actually, I'll swing these both. Yeah. So I'm going to swing a a five and a four. So nine at you, Fred. One more. Okay. Wow. I'm going to draw four cards. Um, and I guess I'll go to the end of my turn. I've got eight cards in hand, so I just got to figure out what to get rid of. But um, I will pass after that. What is the least useful thing in this moment? I mean, I guess this one, the Wild Beast Master from last game. It's an oddly competitive deck for being one of the worst War of the Sparks Planeswalkers. In some yeah, people's that, opinion. Yeah, I, think the I tried that one, good. and then the, the, the white one, the... Um... All your things don't take non creature damage, non combat damage. Mm -hmm. I tried that one really hard. It didn't didn't pan out the way I hoped it would. I'm gonna play a land and fetch. I'll take a point. Well, the, the wanderer is the one with that language, and she costs five mana. So <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah. I couldn't figure out a way to play it that made it good. I tried a few times, but. I'm gonna be doing a the wandering emperor uh, oathbreaker deck tech probably. Uh, Saturday, I'll be releasing that video. We'll see. Nice. I've got a video going out tomorrow for at 7.30 in the morning for, I can't remember what right now. Hey, I've got a phone. I can just check my YouTube account real quick. Though I've spent way more time on this phone during this game than I would like to admit to. Well, I've been trying to get a hold of a player, so I feel bad about that. I feel like it's it's always disrespectful when you're sitting at a game table and someone's not even paying attention <laughs> and they're on their phone. So I feel bad, but it is a Jeskai Tevish Zat uh, Storm Oathbreaker deck is going to be releasing uh, tomorrow at seven thirty in the morning. Yep. It's uh, somebody's deck I stumbled across on Moxfield. I'm like, wow, this is a really good deck. Is it okay if I list it? You know, and they're like, yeah, you can you can feature it in a video. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna feature it in a video. You know. Do I still have them? I don't have enough yet. One, two, three, four, five, and then um, one short. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go to combat and. Uh, He's a blocker if you don't attack with it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm going to make it too many turns anyway. So I'll send a 6 7 your way. Uh, send your spell bomb. I'll go ahead and I'll fog it. No, I'm kidding. I can't fog it yet. But what I can do is I can block it with a uh, 1 2, tap it for 3 green mana, and play Inspiring Call. I'm going to draw a card for each creature I control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it, and all of my creatures will gain indestructible till end of turn. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four more cards. That's funny. Uh, wait, did you play the extra for that? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Did you I play mean, the extra for that? And did you have... Oh, you know, I don't yeah. think I can pay the extra for it. Oh, um, yeah, it's it's four right wait, now. Wait, no, 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 that guy died. That guy died. Never mind. Never mind. Go what ahead. guy? Uh, the guy that made you pay extra died. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's because I burned everybody to, to cinders. During yeah. my last spinning wheel kick turn. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. so you're gonna block, and then that deals no damage. And yeah. the only thing is, if am I in step, uh, this throne will go off, so everybody will take one damage from the number of creatures I have tapped. And that mm -hmm. is all I can do. Seems good. Whatever that deck I'm, I'm featuring is usually pretty good. What is the worst Oathbreaker Planeswalker? I would say um, a lot of the Planeswalker deck, Planeswalkers, cost like six mana. They're not made to be played in a competitive format at all, so they're very hard to build around. They're slow, and they're not very good. Um, if I had to really pick one, I used to try running the um, Planeswalker deck Veraska out of Ikoria. I can't think of her name. I think it's Scheming Gorgon. It's not a bad card, but it's just very, it's very slow, and it's very hard to get anything done with it. Now, you guys, what do you think? What do you think is the worst Planeswalker, um, in your opinion? Uh, I have opinions on that, but... Um, yeah, Some people I'm, say it's the Tybalt, but I honestly don't feel a two-mana Planeswalker in this format is bad, actually. Well, yeah, because you can, uh, let me actually 
drop return. Yeah. Um, that was interesting, but yeah, I, I would. I feel like the wander, the wander from more of the spark. Wander that, was really, that was that one wasn't very very powerful, but I I do agree. All the ones from the uh, the planeswalker decks, those are probably pretty low down there. But. Yeah, because almost all of them are five or six mana, so they're yeah. expensive to pay. So really, only the ones that are green are really that playable because that's the color you have the strongest ramp in. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They just have non-competitive abilities. Yeah. Um, I think they're just because they're aimed more towards, like, standard level power, I feel like. Well, they aimed them way below standard because they were afraid if they made an introductory product for new players, if they put good, powerful cards in it, you know, current players would buy them and, and new players wouldn't actually be able to buy them or find them. Oh. You know? Yeah. So they purposely made those Planeswalkers less useful and less powerful. I... You know? I think I have a candidate okay. for worst. Uh, tr look up Arlen, Voice of the Pack, where she's a six man of green planeswalker. She reads mm -hmm. each creature you control that's a wolf or werewolf enters with an additional one more counter and then a minus mm -hmm. two to create a two two green wolf. Sure. I think because she's in green, she's not the worst, but no, you're right. She's not great. I mean, her minus yeah. ability is always going to guarantee you're getting a 3-3 three, three creature, though, because she'll still trigger on it. Yeah. She'll still give it the counter. Um, That's true. But you need to play it in proliferate. Honestly, it was better before they just recently went to in the newest Innistrad sets have made that worse. <laughs> <laughs> it was better before Innistrad and the new Innistrad made that a worse tribal card. Okay. Uh, yep. I'm going to start. Actually, I need to tap two for this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will enter the unknown. No, you don't uh, need to pay two for it. He doesn't there's have no tax screen. anymore. That thing's gone. Oh, there's no tax anymore. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, enter the unknown on Lorthos the Tide Maker. So mm -hmm. he's going to explore, and I can also play an additional land this turn. Seems that good. That is okay. not a land. So a one instead, one it just counter. goes into your hand. Yep. Or mm -hmm. it goes, in yeah. your, it goes back on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. And with that additional land play, I will play a forest. Mm -hmm. Um, how many creatures are on the board? I've got two, three, One. four, five. I've got five total. One. So for six. Me. All right. I will swing. Lorthos the Tide Maker at signature, and on the attack trigger, I'm going to pay eight real quick. What, what mm -hmm. is the attack trigger? Which uh, creature is that? Eight, eight, tap up to t eight target permanents and freeze them. Oh. Mm -hmm. They don't okay. untap. So I'm gonna choose all of the all of the creatures that are out currently, mm -hmm. and each of you can pick a land. To pick a light? Oh, uh, to tap? Yeah, tap and won't untap during your next untap step. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to regret that, Andrew. <laughs> I mean, I'm sending nine damage your way right now. I am going to take that nine, though. There's not a lot I can do about it, to be honest with you. All right. I was at well. 19, I believe, so I should be at 10. My mouse is double-clicking. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you are at 19, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, and... Oh. I will play an Elysian Cherry Tid. Okay. And I will move to end step. Mm -hmm. When I do that, Ula's Temple triggers. I'm going to put down a Kraken of the Straits. Okay. Seems good. So, basically, it's unblockable for anything with less than five power. Okay. Seems good. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. To me, you and said? Fast. Okay, I will untap, but not this land. I will use Instill Energy to untap my Gyre Sage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will draw for turn. I'm going to play a land. I'm going to pay... Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Hmm. I'm going to pay four, five, six mana for a... Hubris, uh, Harvest Celebrant, so it's going to come into play with four 1-1 one, one counters on it. I can remove 1-1 one, one counters from it to Fog for the turn. 
<laughs> yep. What's the name of that creature again? Uh, Kubris, K U R B I S. Kubis, maybe? Okay. okay. I'm going to pay five mana for a. I guess I don't need to pay five. You know what? I'll pay three mana for a um, Umbra Mantle. I see you uh, You found your replacement for Spore Frog. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good in this deck. I won't lie. I'm just going to move my lands for a sec. So I'm going to play Umbra Mantle. I'm going to equip it to the creature that, you know, I already can tap and untap. Mm -hmm. This says if I pay three um, and, and untap the creature, it gets plus two, plus two till end of turn. So mm -hmm. I'm going to tap and untap it an infinite amount, creating an infinite amount of mana. Yeah. Well, oh yes, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I do have to use, to I do have to use both Instill Energy and Nature's Chosen, so I can't use those anymore this turn. But that's how I get the second untap to now do this mm -hmm. nonsense. I'm going to play Loyal Guardian. It says at the beginning of combat on my turn, I put a one-one counter on each creature I control. If I control my um, Planeswalker, so I might as well recast my Planeswalker. Um, oh my. I'm not actually going to down tick it because I don't really think that matters anymore. Um, I'll play Scurry Oak. I'll play Scribe Ranger. It says that I can return a forest to my hand to untap a creature I control. So I'm going to return one of these lands to my hand to untap another one of my big creatures. Since Umber Mantle, uh, not that one, it has to be one that taps for mana. Since Umber Mantle equips for zero, I'll move it over to the Incubation Druid, and um, it's untapped. I tap it for three. I use um Umber Mantle to untap it and give it plus two, plus two. I tap it for three. Yep. Go infinite on that one as well. I don't generate infinite mana on that one, but it gets me. Well, you already have infinite mana, so it doesn't matter. You can make yep. all of your creatures infinitely big. Yep. I'll play a um, Toski Bearer of Secrets. Uh -huh. I guess I'll play a Stony Strength on another one of my creatures. Andrew tap down. It's going to put a 1-1 one -one counter on that creature and untap it. So gotcha. all, of, all of my creatures with 1-1 one -one counters on them already have Trample. And I can make them infinitely big by just casting my Sorcery spell forever in a day. So I win? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess you were right. I did regret that. Yeah. You can also, like, uh, with that with that ability, like, you already have infinite mana, so you can move that to all of your creatures, untap them all, make them all infinitely big, and, yeah, you mm -hmm. won multiple times over. <laughs> yep. Well, and I'm holding a Shamanic Revelation, so I could have had more cards if I wanted to prolong it any longer, but I think that was way more than I needed to do in the first place. That's I awesome. might take Umber Mantle out of this deck. It's a little much, maybe. Uh, it's... Great. It pushes Sometimes. the deck... Yeah. Sometimes you get to like a stalemate, like with all the big creatures, it's gonna be hard for you to get through that. So that kind of like seems over the top of it. So. Well, my plan from then on was just to keep my planeswalker out and Cubris out, and then every single turn the loyal guardian would just replace the one one counter on him that I used mm. to fog Andrew's <laughs> turn. So. Oh well, yeah, that would work. Yeah. That work. So being able to fog for the rest of the game was also a plan I hated very very much. <laughs> oh shoot, I should have drawn. A couple cards deep was uh, mm. Aya Progenitor Ooze. That's a great one. Ah, gross. Not not okay. This one will go into the archive and be forgotten again for a long time. Um, yeah, I didn't really get to play any of the new cards I put in here out of, uh, out of what you call it. Out of the Neo Genesis Savannah and Kamigawa. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you guys for the games. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate anybody who, who dropped in and watched us. Um, I'm going to probably call it there. I think I'm done for the evening, guys. So I'm going to just do some wrap-up stuff and try to raid somebody else's poor channel. So thank you again. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. Bye, bye everyone. Okay. Yeah. Bye. 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 Have a good evening. Um, yeah, I gotta go vacuum. You gotta go vacuum. Thank you, uh, at least Ruby, for your commentary on the uh, stream. And let's see who else in the Magic the Gathering community or just on Twitch needs a little bit of love and support that maybe I can send you you wonderful people over to. Um, uh oh. Hmm. 
none of the channels I follow are currently live on Twitch. Well, that's not a great sign. <laughs> Um, you know, I think I might just um, end the stream then. I appreciate you all for being here. If you want to, like I said, check out my YouTube channel. Uh, subscribers are scrolling below. And yeah, yeah. Uh, see you all again. Hopefully next Thursday we'll be playing again. It's going to be probably me, uh, Lady Lazula, which was who wasn't here tonight. Uh, I don't know if Ornithologist will be back and Zoink might be back, but we'll just have to wait and see who signs up. If you do want to sign up and play an Oath Breaker game with us here on Spell Table, please join my Discord. The sign up is open to anyone who wants to get in a game. Um, have a great evening, and thank you all for stopping in.